individual changes through a life cycle. Changes refer to any action resulting in a need to amend or create new configuration items. So it can refer to defects, bugs or issues, enhancements, change requests, improvements, new features. Release management and build management take the controlled configuration items and build into a working product for release to either a test team or the end customer. These processes are becoming increasingly dependent on integration to the SCCM system, so much so as they are now considered part of the overall process. SCCM doesn't stop when a product is released. Changes and defects can still be found in the live environment, and these need to be captured and fed back into the development process. This is where SCCM interfaces with the ITIL service management configuration management discipline. What are SCCM tools? SCCM tools need to support the SCCM process of your business, not the other way around. It is important to define your SCCM process before you decide on any tools. It is also crucial that you identify the factors that are most important to your organization, as it may be that the critical requirements of your SCCM solution are not available using free solutions. What should you be looking for from an SCM tool? As a minimum, I suggest you need the following. For the version and control system, user management some form of permissions model, authentication, authorization. You need to be able to have parallel development, the branching and merging features. A baseline mechanism to be able to either via labeling or global revisions. Um, reporting, and the ability to integrate to other tools such as your change management and your build and release system. On the change tracking side, fairly obviously, to create and update changes be able to move changes through a life cycle, again, to be able to report on those changes. It needs to have user management as well to understand who's making changes, so that's a permissions model with the authentication and authorization again. And again, it needs to integrate to be able to work with your version control and build and release systems. Okay, there are a wealth of open source tools available. We will not cover them all here, but provide an introduction and indication of the depth of functionality available. Clearvision do not endorse any specific product above another in this webinar. A number of factors need to be taken into account when choosing a solution to fit the needs of your organization. There are two predominant models for SCCM systems. The client and server approach, which you Excuse me, which utilizes a central server as the master repository from which individual clients check out code to work on, and the distributed model where each working copy is a self-contained repository. If looking at client-server model, then the first decision is the server platform to use. If you require a free server from the ground up, then we can take a leap out the web community book and follow the guiding principles of the LAMP web server. Linux, Apache, MySQL, Perl, Python, and PHP. This is a tried and tested server configuration in use across the web. There are a number of Linux distributions available, and you can choose whichever of these best suits your organization's requirements and skills base. For the rest of this webinar, we'll be using the CentOS distribution, as we find it to be robust and a stable OS, whilst being easy to use. It makes it a good choice for those migrating from a Windows environment or completely new to Linux. A number of tools require a database to store and query their controlled items or change records. One of the most popular open source databases is MySQL, and it is widely supported and provides the M in LAMP. Not all tools support all databases, or may have limitations in that support, and you will need to check each tool to confirm compatibility between the tools as well as versions of the tools. When it comes to the version control tool, in the client-server model, two of the most popular are CVS and Subversion. CVS stands for a concurrent version system, which provides a version control system based on open source code. 
It keeps track of all work and all changes in a set of files and allows several developers potentially widely separated in space and even time to collaborate. Subversion um, was designed to be the mostly compatible successor to concurrent version systems and builds on the CVS model but provides additional features such as the ability to version control directories and more advanced branching and merging features. In the distributed model there is Mercurial and Git. Mercurial is cross-platform distributed revision control tool for software development. Written in Python with a binary diff implementation in C. Mercurial is primarily a command line program. All its commands begin with HG, a reference to the chemical symbol for mercury. It has also become known just by the name HG. Its major goals include high performance and scalability, serverless, fully distributed collaborative development, robust hand handling of both plain text and binary files, and advanced branching and merging capabilities while remaining conceptually simple. Git is a free distributed revision control or software source code management project with an emphasis on being fast. Git was developed initially by Linus Torvalds for the Linux kernel development. Every Git working directory is a fully fledged repository with complete history and full revision tracking capabilities, not dependent on network access or a central server. Okay. For change management, there is Bugzilla, which is a defect tracking system. Defect tracking allows individuals or groups of developers to keep track of outstanding bugs in their products. Um, there's also Track, which is a web-based software project management and bug and issue tracking system, provides an interface to subversion and has an integrated wiki amongst other features. Um, Simple Ticket, first Ruby on Rails based trouble ticket system. Um, it was built as an alternative to some of the more expensive and complicated ticketing systems such as Remedy and Heat. BugTracker.net, as the name suggests, is a web-based bug tracker or customer support issue tracker written using ASP.NET, C Sharp and Microsoft SQL Server or its free cousin SQL Server Express. In addition to these, there are some continuous integration and build server tools out there. Hudson. Hudson monitors executions of repeated jobs such as building a software project or jobs run by Cron. Among these things, current Hudson focuses on the following two jobs, building and testing software projects continuously and monitoring externally run jobs. There's also Cruise Control, which is a framework for a continuous build process. It includes, but is not limited to, plugins for email notification and various source code, uh, source code control tools. It has a web interface to view the details of the current and previous builds. This is not exhaustive. This is just dipping a toe into the open source sea. There are many more tools out there at varying levels of maturity. A good source for locating tools is via Wikipedia, which lists software configuration and change management tools, both commercial and free, and provides some comparative tables of features. Okay, now we'll look at our free system. Base server is fairly straightforward choice. As mentioned previously, the LAMP setup is good, tried and tested configuration to use. Apache has become the de facto web server. It's free, secure and extendable. It's in use across the web, serving all types of websites, from small personal sites to large scale e-businesses and governments. Not all tools require a separate web server, but where they do support Apache, it is recommended that this is used over and above any pr proprietary methods they may have. Whilst the P in LAMP may be any of the server-side scripting languages, it may not be an actual requirement of the tools themselves, but they're all useful tools to have, especially if your tools support the ability for scripting um, to either extend their functionality or to enforce policies. These are normally referred to as hooks or triggers. Okay. ClearVision's free system version control, we use Subversion. 
advanced version is believed to be the fastest growing SEM tool on the market today. Based on the number of downloads,